Hello, Diargos here. Welcome back to my Factorio series, the Manhattan Project. All right, so let's get our inserters down, figured out. We want to put in fuel. So we know that the um, fuel cells go in and the uh, expended fuel cells come out, right? So we can do something like this. We don't even need a fast inserter for this, but that's fine. Now let's say we want... Hmm, how many should we have? I think we only need like a couple, right? We don't need 50. Like, um... Maybe two? And that's not going to be inside. See, there's the other problem. So, <clears throat> we have to fix... We have to put... Find space for a rubber port, which I should have built into... From the beginning. Uh, man. Okay. And then put down these. So before I do that, before I do anything else, I want to test this out and make sure it's working. And that's going to cost 10 of these. Now, I don't know, but I think I can afford it. I can afford 10. So we'll do one. Oh, look at that. It comes out instantly. Good to know. I'm trying to get the ratios right, so I have to do all of them. Not 10, eight of these. What was I thinking? Eight. Okay, so it's it's going, right? Oh, dang it. Power is not hooked up. Okay, but you can see like the bonuses I was talking about. 200 here, 300 there. 300 there and 200 there and so it adds up to 28 okay so let's get let's get some water going how much water do we need we need one two three oh, I didn't hook up those up there okay so we need 12 okay I can only make two so I better I've got some right up here there's a chest right there with a bunch right by the steam engines it's there. I know I had pumps somewhere. I made like 20 of them and then by accident or something like that. Uh, okay. Let me go check the storage chest over here. I think I might have just wasted a whole bunch of nuclear fuel cells. <laughs> But, um, it's not looking fine. There, okay. And before I run off, I need a lot of undergrounds too, since I'm up here. Up in this area. <clears throat> I need 12 lines. It's a lot of pipe. Just threw away eight fuel cells because I wasn't ready, wasn't thinking. Just rushing along. Okay. I'm also worried about the RoboPort situation. It's pretty cramped, and this, the, the annoying thing about RoboPorts is that they're an odd number of squares. Where it's. Odd or they're even? Four. Okay, they're four, they're even. But yeah, I guess that's the, that's the annoying part, is that they're even number. If you have, like, want to put them in the middle of something, you have to have an even number of squares to have it symmetrical, and, like, nothing ever is. Okay, so we're, we'll use these new, uh, new lines down here. We want, let's say, 12 to start. No, please don't do that. Okay. 
Okay, I don't. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this here. This is just winging it. But I expect. Like from up here, I'm gonna come down. Okay, so three there, and then. I suppose I should, I should just do like three here. So, you can have them come like this. Uh, perfect. Finally, so. Um. I'll do max, max range. Remember, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blueprint this all out, so I kind of want it to look decently nice. Okay, so now I'm around here. Nope. Standing on it. Okay, so you will go. I didn't um, make it compact, is the problem. Okay, so we can just do, we can do pipes right there. We'll do it like that. Okay, so you come, but you're the farthest one, so we'll do you first. So I wanna keep them together, so it looks nicer. Like that. Okay, so you come right there. And the bottom ones, <clears throat> I want to leave one square around this um, turbine. Okay. Almost. Okay, coming together. Right there, there, and there. And then again, the farthest one away, we'll start from the top. Pretty good. Acceptable. Okay, so now that should be hooked up, but, but here's the thing, I want this actually up here. So... We'll blueprint that and paste it up. So this might be a little different. Like these might connect straight up. So let's just do these. Right. Let's do these right here. Okay, and then disassemble those. And then paste them back down. And we want them like right there. Okay, I think the top could even be more compact than that because I think I left a space. Okay, so you're gonna go here. You're gonna go there. them up yeah <clears throat> did I do that up there yeah I did all right um, that's no problem just connect them up like that remember I want to I want them separate separate lines completely is the idea okay, and then hope these will connect 
They do not. They do not. Unshy. Are these... That's at max, too. Yep. So this one, these outer ones, he's going... He's got to go extra, right? That's the problem. Okay. Um... think the solution is to be a little sneaky and go like that <laughs> so this will still work it just doesn't need it right it can skip that one entirely but do I want to have just two I have to have two I have to have those there so if I do that I have I mean, it makes sense. Like it, it's we call that readability in software development, right? You don't really need it there per se, but it, it helps with readability. That's the justification I'm going to use. Okay, so we already used up. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, well, cool. At least that. At least I tested that. That part worked. <clears throat> okay. Is there any way that I can do this without having to, I can't just rotate it. No, there's nothing I can do. I gotta do it like this. You're gonna come up like that. At least I know what I'm doing this time. It's gonna be a little faster, maybe not. Is going at max distance. Yep. Okay. And then you gotta go. Okay, so we'll start from this side now. Um, here. Oh, no. That's like that. That's like that. up the same way I did over here. Um, I left one space here. Down there. Like that. Okay. That works. And then I came down from the top, so I'll come down from the top again. Again, I want one space, and then that. Okay. And we start from the outside parts, max distance right there. And he gets like one extra one, right? That goes in a second. Okay, and then all right, almost there. Just got a couple more pipes. Um, he is on the square. He's one square down. One square down would be right there. And just like the other one, this one doesn't need it, but these two do. 
things, everything's lined up right. Water's going in around that way, around the other side. So this is the nuclear something reactor, whatever we want to call it. We'll come up with an official name for it here in a second. But now we need the pipe, right? <clears throat> and I think what I want to do, this is tricky. How many pipes are there? There are 12 total. So I, I really would like to do, even though it's groups of three or in six, this is gonna sound weird, but what I what I need to do really is So like what when I'm going across country, right? I guess it doesn't matter. My point is that No, it doesn't matter. Okay. I'm I'm being stupid. I was trying to I was thinking about grouping them in groups of four so I could do undergrounds on them if I ever had to, but I'm not even gonna need to. They're underground pipes. I mean come on. Think, man. Okay, so I do want them to go together, though. Do I want to bunch them up here? I don't want them all just like tons and tons of pipes. Let's kind of try to figure out a way to bunch them up here, I think. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we have six on either side. Start here. Where's the middle? Can't put those two together because then they'll connect. So I have to do one aside like that. Six. Look like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, man, that's, that's so so much stuff taken up. Okay. Hope that makes sense. And then this would have to come like Okay. This might not work out. We're gonna we're gonna figure something out. Like like that. These have to come down. I hope they can reach. So these should be able to reach. Um, pose you over one. Nope, I cannot move you over one. I give you a little extra pipe though. That should be okay there, right? But not okay if I do it on all of them, on all three of them. Okay, so let's just say I come down here. I come down one extra one for those three. That that that's fine. That that's better. Okay. Don't mind doing that. Okay, I think I got that. I think that'll work. Cool. Okay. And then... Ah, they're still not together. It's still a space. There'll still be two spaces between them. keep it symmetric so what I could do right if I wanted to do this is is I could have it like this and then have it you know going down like, in like this direction but that, that would work if there was an odd number but since there's an even number if I do something like that there's going to be a connection between the two pipes if I don't do if I leave a space I don't want to leave one space because there's a two space you know middle here so I leave two spaces, but if I leave two spaces, how do I get them back together? Uh, a whole bunch of more, fin you know, finagling. I guess I'm not. I'm just not going to do that. I'll just have a gap. That's fine. Remember, I'm trying to make this plug and play, right? I'm trying to say that I can just blueprint this down and then have a pipeline hook up and really not have to do much hook up for it. Just have like an API, in a sense, that will handle it. Oh yeah, this, no, that that's right, okay. It's right here, they went off. Water comes in here. Here. 
I really this would probably be a lot easier for, on myself if they if I let let them connect connect up. But be cool. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me that's symmetrical. Okay, so then now my API would like I have to have the farthest one, right? So I range for the farthest one away. Here's what I'm talking about. Uh, there's always going to be two spaces there, right? Well, I guess I could. No, I could do it. I could do it right here. I bring each one in a little bit. Okay, I could do that. Okay, so you come down here. How'd that look? I don't think I can actually, because I would need I would need like two coming from here, right? And then all right, I'm, st I'm I'll think about it later. Okay, so these all will go like that. So this is a lot of water. Ridiculous amount of water. I really wish that there was a way to not have to be so clunky with water transportation. Just 1,200 per second in the pipe seems like a little, a little much. Or I mean, a little, it's like too little for how big these pipes are. Okay, so then, I mean, we're just gonna go like straight down, right? Two pairs, or two pairs. We'll make a pair of rows, both sides. So yeah, that's two pairs. There's a pair, and now here's the other pair. Oh boy. Okay, finally got that. All right, and then I can blueprint that. Now I can't even do this. Come on, bots. Jeez. Do I not have pipes? Is that the problem? I don't have pipes. Okay, I'm blaming the bots and it's my fault. Alright, I'm in the episode here. And in the next episode, I should have water hooked up and we'll do an official test of this uh, nuclear reactor site. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.